Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and of course Arnie does too. Now there's no getting away from the fact that we are at a crisis point when it comes to the health of our planet. The damages that we've caused through pollution, habitat destruction and global warming may seem somewhat irreversible. These changes impact the animals that we share the planet with and have led to the sixth mass extinction event, even though some of the most respected people in the field are always warning us. We are still too slow to act. That's why there's been so many recent animal extinctions and it could get worse if we don't change the way we live. Although the changes we've made to the planet negatively impacts the species that live here, we also affect them in a more direct way. Endangered animals are still often hunted, both for their meat and for traditional medicine. In this video I will be focusing on these animals, as I'll be going through five species that are being eaten to extinction. And for our first species we'll be travelling to both Asia and Africa, as we have the pangolin. Now I say the pangolin, but there are actually eight species alive today, four living in Asia, and four species being found in sub-Saharan Africa. One of the first things you may notice about this species are its strange defensive scales. They are the only known mammals with these defensive scales and they are able to curl up when approached by predators. These scales are made of keratin and is a similar material that makes up our fingernails and hair. Keratin is also what rhinos horns are made of and unfortunately the pangolin suffers the same persecution as the rhinos. Over some places where they're found these creatures are also known as scaly anteaters. This gives us a clue into their diet as they mainly feed on ants and termites. To catch these food items they have strangely long tongues and these of course are very sticky. Although these strange mammals were once numerous across the globe, they are now in a perilous situation. Two species are listed as vulnerable, three are endangered, and three are critically endangered. Although heavy deforestation has affected their numbers, their main threat is poaching. Pangolins are the world's most trafficked wild animal, and since 2000 more than a million pangolins were thought to have been killed for their meat and their scales. These scales are used in traditional Chinese medicine, as they are thought to have many medicinal properties. This is of course not the case, as it would be the same as eating a clump of toenails. Although there are laws in place to help protect these species, these laws are very hard to enforce. China, Malaysia and Vietnam are the worst offenders when it comes to pangolin trafficking and 8.3 tonnes of pangolin scales were seized in Hong Kong in January 2019 and this number of scales amounts to around 13,800 pangolins. It's such a shame that this animal is hunted just for the scales on its back and if the laws aren't more strictly enforced, we could lose one of the most unique animals on this planet. If you want to help out the pangolins, I've left a donation link in in the description below and hopefully with your help and more awareness these scaly creatures will be able to bounce back. Before our next species will be staying in Asia as we have the Chinese giant salamander. This species is one of the largest amphibians in the world and are endemic to the Rocky Mountain streams and lakes in the Yangtze River Basin. These salamanders are one of the many species that are known as living fossils and were thought to have diverged from other amphibians during the Jurassic period around 170 million years ago. Although it lives an aquatic lifestyle it does not have gills and absorbs oxygen for its skin. This means like many other aquatic amphibians, they are known as an indicator species. This means that if a giant Chinese salamander is found in a water source, that water source is probably clean. Because they absorb oxygen through their skins, they can also absorb pollutants. This is why most amphibians can't survive in polluted waters and that's why the giant Chinese salamander is struggling in today's world. In their freshwater homes they'll feed on pretty much anything that they can fit in their mouths and this sometimes includes other Chinese giant salamanders and mammals that get too close to the water. On this diet they can reach a maximum size of around 1.8 meters long and weigh up to 50 kilograms. In some parts of China this salamander is known as the infant fish as it's able to create some strange vocalizations that bear a striking resemblance to a crying child. Although they once had stable populations they are now listed as critically endangered. Pollution has definitely played a big role in this but so has hunting. This salamander is considered a delicacy in China and of course they're also used in traditional medicine. Their population has fallen by 80% since the 1960s and it looks like they could be heading towards extinction. Despite being given the highest level of protection by the Convention on International Trade, they are still very profitable on the black market. It's thought that one specimen could fetch more than $1,500 and there are many secret farms across China. The authorities in China don't seem to care about this salamander as 14 police officers were caught feasting on a salamander in a seafood restaurant in Shenzhen. This was part of an undercover investigation and shows that the laws aren't properly being enforced. So if nothing continues to be done, this giant salamander will only exist in farms. Before our next species we'll be heading to Madagascar as we have the Indri. This lemur is one of the largest living lemurs in the world and inhabits the lowland forests of eastern Madagascar. Like many other lemur species they are happy in the trees where they primarily feed on vegetation, fruits and flowers. In their densely forested homes the only predators that they have to look out for are the fusa and of course humans. Despite this it is revered by the Malagasy people and plays an important part in their myths and legends. Some of the main threats that the Indri faces are habitat destruction and fragmentation. This is mainly 
mainly due down to slash and burn agriculture and it has affected all the wildlife on the island. It's thought that around 80% of Madagascar's forests have been destroyed since the 1950s, meaning that there's fewer places for these lemurs to go. Unfortunately, these giant lemurs are also hunted by people, despite taboos against this. In the past 15 years, there's been an alarming increase in the hunting of this species, and this increase has been linked to the island's political and economic crisis. Unfortunately for the injury, they make themselves very easy to find. They are known for their loud vocalizations, which can be heard up to four kilometers away. They're thought to be one of the very few mammals that can use rhythm, making them even more lovable. So although it looks bleak, hopefully we'll see more in the future. Before our next species, we'll be heading to the northeastern Atlantic Ocean, as we have the angel shark. Now there are quite a few angel sharks around the world, with most of them suffering in recent years. These sharks may look more like rays, and this is because they share a very similar lifestyle. Angel sharks are masters of camouflage, with even their eyes blending in with the ocean floor. This means that they can happily wait for their prey to come to them, before hoovering them up. Despite having some very effective teeth. These sharks pose little to no danger to humans, and will only bite if provoked. Until the middle of the 20th century, their range stretched from Norway and Ireland, all the way to Morocco and the Black Sea. Unfortunately, this range has now decreased by 80%. Although this may be shocking, it's a very familiar story. It's thought that around 100 million sharks are killed every year, both as bycatch and for shark fin soup. Luckily, this species isn't the main target for shark fin soup but its lifestyle makes it very vulnerable. As they spend a lot of their time on the ocean floor, they are easily picked up by trawlers. By the time the catch is sorted through, they have already often perished. Although these killings are normally accidental, this really doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. In recent years, there has been some more encouraging signs, as a few individuals were spotted off the coast of Wales, and it's thought that they could be choosing this location to breed. So hopefully with a little help, their range will expand once again. Before our next species, we'll be heading to Central Africa, as we have the Red Colobus. Now, these monkeys are old world monkeys, of which there are quite a few species. Unfortunately, when it came to making this video, there are quite a few to choose from, as many of them are facing the same problems. These primates are social animals, and can live in troops of up to 80 individuals. In these areas, they inhabit moist evergreen tropical forests, where the main component of their diet is leaves. Unfortunately, today, this primate is facing threats from many different angles. Not only do they have to face some of the common predators in Africa, but they also face threats from their relatives. Although many people think chimpanzees Disease are vegetarians. They are, of course, omnivores. Although a large majority of their diet is made up by vegetation, they will take meat when it's available. This meat is almost always the red colobus, and the chimpanzees are very brutal when hunting them. And although the large males are often trying to deter the chimpanzees, this predation has a huge impact on their numbers. It's thought that the Gombe chimps kill up to 100 colobus monkeys a year, and of course, these monkeys also face threats from humans. They are often hunted for bush meat, and in recent years, the improvement of road access has only led to an increase in this industry. One species of red colobus is already feared extinct, and another species is thought to go extinct in the next five years. So although these primates are very agile, they have no chance against so many enemies. But that's about it for this video. Again, this is another very sad topic, but I think it's an important one to talk about, and I've left as many donation links as I can in the description below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.